Life is an open book test. Top of the morning to you. So when you listen to other people's testimonies um, and how they were saved, it's there's some common elements involved. It's usually something like this. While walking in the world's way and thinking the world's thoughts, uh, we often come to a point where we discover that life is not satisfying. No matter how well the world has rewarded us, uh, you just say to yourself, is that all there is? Then something happens that throws you into a tailspin, and if you don't change your course fast, you see the earth coming at you, and you realize you're going to crash and burn if you don't change course. So a choice has to be made. Either continue on this path or look for another path. There are many paths out there, but all will lead to the same point, except one path, the true way, following Jesus. Once on the road with Jesus as your Lord and Savior, a sense of peace envelops. The, condition, the conditions around you may not have changed, but things are different. For me, there was color in the world. I appreciated life. Uh, my hope was restored, and everything started to make sense. I got a new way of looking at things. Plus, I had help from the creator of the universe and king of kings and lord of lords. He was there the moment I needed him and stayed with me as long as I obeyed his ways and will and laid out in, uh, in the Bible his word. It's a lot like what happened in Exodus with Moses. Uh, God takes us after we commit to him, and he strips us of all our fears by walking with us uh, through all the problems and assuring us that he's there with us through signs and wonders along the way, giving us confidence, building our courage. Again, our circumstances don't necessarily change, but our outlook does. We see things different, giving us a new and better perspective from God's point. It's like one of those tests you get in school where the teachers allows you to open the book to answer the questions. I used to hate that. But we have access to all the answers for life's problems. We just need to know where to look in that book and trust God like Moses did in Exodus 3, verse uh, 8, when God says, I have come to rescue you. Be encouraged.